Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be doing a haul for you all. Since I know you all love haul videos, I figured I would do a collective haul. Just things that I have picked up from the drugstore, from online, um, from Mac, just to show you because I know you like it, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And before I get started, this is gonna be one of my last hauls for maybe about a month. To two months depending because what I'm gonna be doing is a no buy reason being is because I have so much makeup that I really honest to God don't need any more makeup because I need to use up some of the stuff I already have um, if I do need anything it's gonna be for my professional freelance makeup kit but I probably won't need anything from there really because as far as freelancing I do have gigs, but I'm not doing it as often since I am trying to get into the nursing program. I have so much that I am doing for that that I don't have a lot of time, but I do have a couple of gigs. So I probably will need a few things like maybe more powders or mascaras or, you know, setting spray, stuff like that. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. The first thing that I got, you all, if you watched my favorites video, um, I mentioned that I love the Ardell Wispies. If you haven't watched it, check it out. I love those eyelashes. Those false eyelashes are just amazing. So one of my friends, it was either Miss Cory Baby or New Beauty Review. I'm sure it's Miss Cory Baby. They recommended to me to get the Ardell Demi Wispies. So I got four of these, just four packs. And I don't know if I'm gonna like them yet or not, so I can't wait to try them out since I do like the original Wispies. And as you can see, these are a little bit different. Um, they do have a bit of a flare at the end. Um, in comparison with the, the Wispies, they're just fl beautiful flare lashes, like beautiful, gorgeous, full lashes. So that's what I got. Then from Walmart, I picked up the new Wet n Wild Cover All Cream Foundation. And I also had a little hidden giveaway in my favorites video um, asking people if I was wearing this or the new Chanel um, Pro Lumiere foundation and whoever was the first one to answer correctly was my winner is going to receive a little bit of a gift. Well, this is not the reveal video unfortunately, but that will be coming soon when I do the review for this. So watch this video when it comes out and you will find out if you are the winner. The next things I picked up are from Star Looks. If you have not seen my videos, I am subscribed to a $15 a month subscription service called Star Looks, and they make their own cosmetics that are comparable to MAC cosmetics. And it's amazing because you spend $15 a month and you get four to five full size products, not deluxe size, full size products. So they also sell those products online so you can go online and purchase products. So I decided to get a few things from there. The first thing I got was the Starlux lip gloss in the color Shocker. And I do have a video out right now. It's my pinup makeup tutorial. Check it out. I am using all of these lip products I'm about to show you from Starlux because I really, really like them a lot. So I have tried some of this stuff I'm going to show you. I have already tried. That's why it's a collective haul, right? So this is Shocker Lip Gloss by Starlux. Love it. It is amazing. Then this is Cherry Cedar Lip Liner. And then the last thing I got from Starlux is this lipstick called Erotic. Erotic, and it's a beautiful red. Like I said, I'll show... If you want to see these... Um, three items that I just showed swatched and on watch my pinup makeup tutorial because I have a tutorial showing myself using them so they're really awesome I really do like them a lot check out star looks I'm not getting paid by them I'm not affiliated with them I just really like it I buy the subscription service and I bought some products so they're really cool and then from ulta.com Oh, I don't know really how I feel about these products. I got two of the NYX Love in Paris um, palettes. The first one is Let Them Eat Cake Patisserie, which looks like this. The reason why I say I'm not sure, and then the second one I got is called A La Mode, which is more of like a smoky eye kit. The reason why I say I'm not sure about these, cute packaging, they have like a little bow thing there to open the palette. Cute, cute, cute. Shadows look amazing, but 
the pigmentation just really isn't there. I mean, I know it looks like it there, but when you swatch it, it's just kind of not what I was dreaming for. There are a couple of colors that are okay. They are pretty okay. So you can see, but to be honest with you, there's only like a few colors out of each palette that are okay with pigmentation and the rest are not that great. So I don't really know how I'm going to like the palettes. We shall see. And then also, I don't know if any of you have seen Makeup by Camilla 2 or Makeup by Camilla. She has two different channels, one in English and then one in, I believe, Portuguese. I love her to death. And she's always showing the NYX blush in Pinched. So I picked it up. And this is what it looks like, which everybody claims that this is a dupe for NARS Orgasm. It's pretty close. It's not totally. Um, it's a little bit pinker than NARS Orgasm. I'll swatch it on my hand. And that's what it looks like. It is really gorgeous on, however, I can see why she uses this all the time because I love it. I've already worn it a couple times and I really like it a lot. So I got that. And then also the last items that I got from um, Ulta are the Nivea Lip Butters. And the only one that I have been using a lot lately actually is the Raspberry Rose Kiss. And this is what it looks like. And let me be honest about these. This is like mini reviews. They're okay. Um, they are really hydrating. They do really moisturize your lips. The downfall for me with these products is that I like a lip gloss or a hydrating lip butter to have that little sweetness to it on your lips. That way you can taste the flavor and like a little bit of sweetness. This doesn't have that. I mean, you have the scent, but you don't have any sweetness, so it's kind of meh. That's the only thing I don't really care for. So I got that one, and then I also got one in Caramel Cream Kiss and another one in Vanilla and Macadamia Kiss. And let me just say, the hype, these were really hyped up, and they're very moisturizing, but I don't know. They're just all right, you know what I'm saying? And then from MAC Cosmetics, and I've already used this, so I got Candy Yum Yum. Yes, I finally got it, and I love it because so many of you suggested it to me. Look at that, it's so cool. I have like a little fuzzy. Ah, oh, it's so gorgeous. It's like pat out. Look at that. Whoa, Nelly. Super, super gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I thought I almost burped. Like for real. Uh, yeah, but I didn't. So candy yum yum. And then I also got the MAC Fast Response Eye Cream, and it has caffeine in it, so it's supposed to help with um, under eye bags and tighten and all that good stuff, so I got that. Then I got another MAC Select Cover Up. Check out my favorites video. This has been one of my favorites for years, and I'm in the color NW25. I love this for covering blemishes, brown spots. Love it. I needed another one because I'm almost out of my other one. So I got another one of those. Then I ordered the Derma Blend Professional Quick Fix Concealer, full coverage concealer that is long wearing with SPF 30 in the color beige. And it looks like this. I've already been wearing it. And that's what it looks like. And so far, it's all right. It's not like the best concealer in the world, but it's okay. I need to use it a little bit more in order to give you guys a full rundown or review on it, so I really don't know. Then the last product, whoa, I almost felt like I went cross-eyed. The last product, this was a big time splurge. I was asked to um, review it and I will be reviewing it. I am wearing it on my face today and that is the Chanel Perfection Lumiere and I am in the color 40 beige. This is so gorgeous. I mean, Chanel packaging is just Look at that, amazing. And like I said, this color is just like perfect. But like I said, if you're gonna get, spend money on a higher end foundation, you need to get color matched. Don't just order online. Um, don't, just, don't just order online or think you know what color you are because it will not work out. I had to try a few different colors. I tried um, 30 beige, 40 beige, and I think 60 or something like that, or 50. 
I don't remember which other one and 40 beige was like the perfect one for me so thank you guys so much for watching this was my little haul for you all and just to let you all know there's gonna be more videos coming up I'm so sorry you know what from now on I'm not gonna come on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram and say oh I'm gonna have a video up tomorrow because sometimes things happen and I'm not able to get videos up and then I know that's disappointing to you all when I've already said oh I'm gonna get a video up and then I don't get one up so I'm just not gonna do that anymore but I'm gonna try to be consistent in uploading so there's gonna be a ton of cool stuff that I will be uploading I'm not gonna say when but I will be trying to upload more consistently so thank you all so much and I will see you in the next video bye you guys Thank you.